And he's on. We're on. Okay, basically, I'm holding a sign here for John Wesley Dobbs Avenue. It's uh, basically uh, right outside the old Fourth Ward District, downtown Atlanta. I was originally known as Houston Street, but back in the late 90s, the city of Atlanta changed it to John Wesley Dobbs Avenue. John Wesley Dobbs is my great-grandfather. Uh, in a more practical reference, people would know him as the gentleman who helped negotiate the integration of the Atlanta Police Force. That's right, he helped get the first black officers onto the Atlanta Police Force. He was also one of the highest masons in the Black Georgia Lodge. He helped to unionize all of the black rail porters that were working on the Georgia rail system. He also helped found some voting organizations as well and did a ton of different things in the community. If you ever visit Atlanta and you go to Auburn Avenue, which at one point in time was like Black Wall Street, equivalent to Oklahoma City, it was one of the richest black thoroughfares in the United States in terms of African-American economy. My grandfather, my great-grandfather, was known as the mayor of Sweet Auburn. He coined the term Sweet Auburn. And basically, he was a very huge community organizer, worked with a lot of different movements, precursor to the civil rights movement back in the 30s and 40s in Atlanta, things like that. So now he's got a street named after him. He's got an elementary school named after him. He's got a uh, monument and a small memorial park downtown. So I'm very proud to be a part of this legacy, and he has definitely done a lot to shape this city. So it's all about the man here, my great-grandfather, John Wesley Dobbs. ATL, baby, this is how we get down. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> True story. You've seen it. You heard it. This has been a production of Wayne Briggs Television. <laughs> <laughs>